Hi friends. Remember when I said I was gonna read Crooked Kingdom and then I didn't? Time for a fucking reading vlog. Before we do that, I just wanted to say thank you to my friend Naomi, who is also my downstairs neighbor. Um, she works for a brand called Aster, A-S-T-R. I don't remember exactly how to pronounce it, but I'll jump in there and fix it with editing. Um, and she sent me this top as like a promo thing. And I'm like really excited about it. I got free clothes. Like this is my first experience with their clothes, but this, they are so, so soft. Oh my God, here, let me give you a full view of it in the mirror. Look at, I, I paired it with these, these flare leather um jean or these, yeah, these leather like pants that I have that are flare that are like really cute and brown and it makes me happy. But, um check this out you guys it's super fucking cute so huge thank you to naomi for sending me that um because these are gorgeous um yeah i'll link the website in my bio and everything so go check it out oh my god okay i had to come back for this just quickly i need to like i need to just i just realized this Spot the difference. I spot spot the fucking difference. Like, <laughs> look at this. It, it's so. <laughs> we all know that I'm Velma anyway. That's just literally who I am. I'm the gay and book nerd one. That's me. Because we know Velma, especially the Linda Cardellini version, gives off major, major bisexual wife vibes. Like, bi wives galore immediately hashtag thank you i'm gonna go read cricket kingdom um i'll get back to you uh whenever i decide to get back to you update oh there goes my voice it is the next morning i am on part three um this book is exponentially better at least in the first like 200 pages than six of crows was i yeah, no, I can't. I This is so much better. Um, Kaz is more interesting. Kaz is funny, not just boring and whiny. Um, Matthias? I'm actually enjoying this time. Nina is at the helm of this, and I'm so, so fucking excited. Nina, Jesper, and Wyland so far are the, as usual, the top three characters. Um, incredible um so good nina's like they're really delving into like um so spoiler alert at the end of six of crows she takes yarda Perem to um the drug to enhance her abilities and save them from the conflict at the end um but yarda Perem is I extremely addictive um and they're really delving into the effects of that addiction um and what the effects that like the effects that that has on like her personality and her powers and also her relationship with all of her friends like this is they're not shying away from the addiction talk here and i love that um wylan and jesper are fucking adorable um i ship them so hard and i'm gonna be so mad if it doesn't happen um also the moments with their parents are so cute well so f honestly just great um Jesper's dad is so cute and like the last pure being in um the face of literature um and Wyland's stepmom <laughs> okay so again spoilers um spoilers for Six of Crows um so skip to the next part if you haven't read Six of Crows but um at the end of Six of Crows Inej gets um captured and this book begins with the um plan to get her back so they kidnap um they kidnap um vanex um vanek is like the big bad of sorts um they kidnap vanex um wife who is pregnant um which would be wyland's stepmom um and hold her hostage quote unquote in exchange for inej um but it's so funny because 
they're all like actually such gentle-ish people that like they're like trying to make her comfortable and being like Matthias is rubbing her feet being like don't worry no one's gonna hurt you you're you and like she's like I just want to sing and she starts singing in her sleep which is so funny and then she and Kaz have this discussion right before they're about to do the trade and get Inej back and give Vanek his wife back um <laughs> Kaz and Vanek's wife um her name is I'm saying Alice, or Elise, um, because L-Y-S, and I don't want to just say Alice, um, because that would be, I don't know, but yeah, Elise, um, is, she's like, do you think he's cute? And Kaz is like, who, your husband? And she's like, yeah, like, he's rich, and like, he's nice, but he's just kind of like, I, I feel like he would be cuter if he were younger, or Kaz, like, we live in a, in a world where rich men um, can get away with being old and ugly, and she's like, yeah, but it would have been nice to be with, you know, to, if I'm gonna be a gold digger, I, I should have not settled for an ugly old guy, and I, I laughed so hard, um, so, yeah, I'll check back in, like, another 200 pages or so, um, but I am enjoying this book exponentially more than the first book, probably because, the bisexual characters are like at the forefront um and then also nina who is the most interesting character in this series is at the helm of things and just delving into it and everything so yeah so i'm at the halfway point um i'm at three hundred exactly actually um and yeah it's pretty good um i oh that's my chicken parmesan um, it's exponentially better. I don't know what to say without spoilers, so I think I'm gonna save that till, like, the end of the vlog, but it's really good. Um, I love the character development for Wylan, and I love Nina's character development, and I am more interested in Inej and Kaz now, so that's good. Finished the book. That was heart-wrenching. Um... I did not expect that. <laughs> um, there's... I got really connected to these characters. Um, a lot more than I thought I would when I read Six of Crows. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> collect myself emotionally. Um, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so hi. Um, I have collected myself. Um, I enjoyed the writing of this book significantly more than the first one. Honestly, reading both of them, it feels like Six of Crows was just, like, a really long prelude to Crooked Kingdom. Um, all of the characters were far better developed and far better explored in Crooked Kingdom. I even, to the end of this, was, like, cared about Matthias, Matthias, um, which is really hard to do, um, mostly because he was connected to Nina, and Nina is my queen, however, I did care about him, um, and his backstory, and his development, because he does become, like, a kind of cool person, um, the other person I cared a lot more about was Kaz, um, I, again, his connection to Inej makes him the most interesting, but there was a lot more exploration into his backstory and the way that it affects his life and his relationships with people, and there's a hair in my mouth. Um, it was really wonderful and just way better developed than, than in Six of Crows. It was so much better developed. My biggest highlight would be the bisexual representation and that we have not one, not two, but three bisexuals at the helm of this. We have Nina, is confirmed bisexual. She even tells Matthias that she kisses men and women. Um, Jesper, confirmed, um, confirmed bisexual. He says he kisses whoever he wants. Um, Wylan, confirmed bisexual. Um, talks about having feelings for women, but he and Jesper are so cute. I guess that's a huge spoiler. Um, the Jesper and Wylan romance and connection 
was so deep and so well crafted and just so well like beautifully thought out um and I really enjoyed that there wasn't like a victimization of either of them um similarly I think the other relationship that like really stood out and made me cry was Nina and Inej their friendship and their understanding and respect for each other is just so it's I, shit I'm getting emotional again um, I'm not gonna cry again on camera it's so honest and just so well crafted and so real and I just loved it um I it made me sob um I think similarly, I think Inej and Kaz, before it felt very Romeo and Juliet, which was annoying to me in Six of Crows, um, this is a lot more Batman and Catwoman. And I am here for that. I am here for that. Like, that was so good. Um, it was very good. Um, I really enjoyed the exploration of what it means to repay a debt and like just the psychological games that were played in this that were not played in the first one. Their talents are really talked up in Six of Crows, but I don't think that they are well established or well used except for Nina until Crooked Kingdom. Like, it really feels like Six of Crows was 400 pages of exposition that then gave us this plot. Nina's exploration of addiction, um, and the way that the Yurta Param not only affects her, like, in all of her relationships, but it also literally changes her powers and her abilities, and allows her to explore a completely new side of herself, which is the, the side of her relationship with the dead, um, where she's always before been very about, like, her relationship controlling living things. Um, and it was so cool. Also, Nina's just so powerful, and I love it. Um, the action sequences in this, specifically Inej's fight scenes, were just beautifully written and much more gripping than Six of Crows. The buy rep was incredible. Um, I really am liking bisexual people in fantasy, I'm learning. Also, the juxtaposition between Nina's addiction to, per to Perem, oh, excuse me, and Jesper's gambling addiction. And the, the differences between those two and the similarities in which they controlled their lives was really cool and really wonderful, and I loved it. Um, I just think this is a far superior book to Six of Crows. That's what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, read Six of Crows so you can understand this, but then read this because this is really good. But yeah, uh, anyway though, those are just my random thoughts. Um, thank you for watching this video, this um, vlog. My reading vlogs are fun. Um, it's 2 a.m. so I have to go to bed because uh, I have to work tomorrow. Um, but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, thanks for sticking around and helping out. Uh, drop your comments below, um, who's your favorite character, do you prefer Six of Crows or Crooked Kingdom, and why, um, I guess keep the spoilers light, but also, like, this entire video is full of spoilers, so I guess it really doesn't matter, um, but yeah, uh, anyway, if you want more chaotic bisexual content, hit that subscribe button, uh, ring the notification video so you can get my videos whenever I decide to post them. And until next week, this has been the Bye Book Boy, and I am saying bye.